Hello, my darlings. Happy Thursday to all of you out there. And welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to part three of the McCarthy's. We are going to be cracking on with more exterior work today. I've made a start on putting wallpapers and stuff on the interiors. Um, but I need to go and do like the top levels and stuff and just work out a bit of the vibe that I'm going to go for. I really want to go for this like rich colored interiors with old furniture. And then the higher we go up, the more kind of run down it seems. And I, I really like that idea. I do love your guys ideas as well. Of like maybe the top levels were like for the servants and stuff. I'm going to be here for that one. I definitely really want to. Might I don't really want to get a butler in for this lot in particular. Um, I'm not for that, so I'm not going to have a butler for this lot, but maybe just an old butler room that looked like it hasn't been used in many, many years. I really like that idea. Changed a little bit of the floor plan here and there. Um, haven't really touched the build since last time either, so we have got still got quite a bit of exterior work to do today. If we manage to get into the interiors today, we'll do it, but. I can't promise anything. I don't think we're going to because there are still much details that I want to put on the outside. So we're going to concentrate on that today, darlings. That's what we're going to do. Yes. Thank you guys for coming to the stream yesterday as well. The final charity stream that I did, we managed to raise $4,000 for True Colors United. Thank you to everybody out there that donated. You guys are amazing. This is all you. This is all you. This is how we did this. And... I'm so thankful. So thankful to all of you. I really am. Um, What else was I going to say? Oh, tomorrow, darlings, on stream at 7 p.m., I'm going to be playing Little Nightmares 2. If you guys haven't played the game Little Nightmares before, it's like this little cute horror game. It sounds weird, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous game. I remember playing it years ago on stream, and there's so much nostalgia around that game with me and my community members on Twitch that I cannot wait to start this new adventure so if you do want to come along tomorrow at 7 p.m gmt i'm going to be playing that and there's a speed build coming tomorrow as well stunning with custom content using lots of the new stuff from harry and felixander um but yeah little intro there let's flop into game and get building okay you gorgeous buggers here we are we are back at the mccarthy's so there's been a few little changes obviously i did say that we were doing the interiors i've actually swapped the wood on the outside for some tiles. I kind of like that. I thought it looked very nice. And I've carried that all the way through into the hallway area. Um, this is going to be the main living room. So is this. This is going to be a bit more of like a, a library slash living room. This bit here. We've got like a parlor over here as well. So right next to where the dining room is going to be. I like what I did with the fireplace here. I'm actually using the fireplace that I don't really like. But again, it suits the build. And I actually do ha like how it looks with these columns and stuff here. Very much for that. Very much for that indeed. Big ass kitchen. Um, I really wanted like this old exposed brick in here. So I've actually used an old exposed brick in the kitchen. I think that's going to be smashing. Don't know how we're going to lay this kitchen out yet. But we're not going to be thinking about that just yet. And then as I said, upstairs... I haven't managed to do much more on the kind of interior work, but I'll do all of this off of camera. Put all the wallpapers and stuff on, change the floor plan slightly up here. I realized for some reason I left this room without any access. Very silly bum. So I've sorted that. Yes, it's done. Very much done. But today what we're going to do, we're going to carry on with more of exterior work. I'm going to do a little bit more landscape. I'm going to do a bandstand as well. Like a... Uh, I don't know what you call them. I know them as bandstand. So I'm going to do one here that's kind of raised up quite high so they can see over into the water. And they've got like a little seating area here as well. Very much for that. And one of you guys said where this wasn't working, because I remember I put those two like weird, these here, and it was lower. Why don't I do like a gate moment here? Loved that idea to that person. So yeah, we're going to do that. In fact, we're going to do that now. We're going to do it now. So let's get this grid on. See, show me what you're working with. And then we can move on. Yes. So can I like float you along here? I kind of can because I can get that gap filled with one of these buggers over here, which I'm going to do now to hide this glitch. Um, excuse you. Thank you very much. Hide this glitch as much as possible. There we go. Stunning. And then this one here can go there as well. And I'm going to do two more on each edge here and move this fence back. Just ever so slightly. Let me um, let me get you to there. 
Let me see if that's before someone shits themselves. No, nope, it's absolutely in there. I'm a, we're for it. We really are. And I'm going to plop you to there, darling. Oh, oh, I thought it was a bit wonky, the fence, but I need to move it because someone will poo themselves in the comments and we don't want that. You don't, we don't want you shitting yourselves in the comments, darling. It's not a good look. It is not a good look. We're not for it. So I'm going to do you to there. Gorgeous. And then I can put a fence moment there. The only problem is what fence? They do need to be quite high. I mean, this would be gorgeous, but it's too big. It's too large. Unless I could like, no. <laughs> I'm like, unless. Absolutely not. Oh, this one could work. It's not that high, but it could work. It could work. What are you? Are you a three? Mm, I don't think you'd suit the vibe vibe really i mean that's not too bad but it's too ornate looking that's gonna be a f oh that's a four wide one <gasps> i could have bloody used that oh silly bum but i do prefer this here anyway i like this and somebody said this can be the logo to the whiskey company i love that idea i really do we kind of need to i'm gonna maybe give this family a dog and a cat as well it's a big enough house to get a dog and a cat in so maybe we can call them and um, i'll let you guys name the dog and cat I'll let you guys do that. Yes, we're going to do this. Okay, so let me get the um, terrain paint on first. Oh, I'm not comfy. Let me straighten my back out. There we go. Lovely. The sooner my new chair comes, the better. Um, and just, I know you guys know, but just so you know, if you're looking at buying a gaming chair, don't. Because <laughs> they are not comfortable and they are not good for your back at all. So I would refrain from buying one if you are looking at getting one. Just get a nice office chair or an ergo, like an ergonomic one that will help your back because these ones are not it, my love. They're really not. I've had a couple of like companies reach out to me to um, see if I want a gaming chair. And I was like, no, I've got one and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't like it. I find them very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable indeed. Oh, I know it's not high now, but I like that. What was the other one we were looking at? It was... Oh, this one could work. Oh, oh it does. <sighs> oh, I like that. I mean, it's lower, but what I could maybe do is, if I can find it, is maybe use these little like pillar things here. Just so it kind of reaches up a bit more on the height of the fence. Oh, it would be nice if that fence was connecting to it. But we can't because of where the fence is. And it would be a pain in the ass to try and do that. Maybe it got broken. It, bro it got broken by a very weighty pigeon. That is the storyline. <laughs> and we are sticking to it. Yes, we are indeed. A, wei a weighty pigeon. <laughs> I love pigeons. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. I really do like a pitch. Do like a pigeon. I don't like seagulls. Seagulls are assholes. They really are. And I, there's, I'm saying that though, there are some cute seagulls. But living in Plymouth and living in, in a coastal city, they are, they are assholes. They nick your food. They're just, they're not good. The seagulls that we have primarily, well, not primarily, but in the southwest of the UK, they are like pterodactyls. They are pterodactyls and they are hideous creatures. They re they're not hideous. I don't, I don't, I don't mean that. Very rude of me to say that. They're not hideous. No animal is hideous. It's, it's the human's bloody fault anyway for making seagulls like they are because of food and, you know. I don't mean to say they're hideous. Please excuse me, seagulls. <laughs> I'm apologizing to seagulls. <laughs> I'm so sorry, seagulls. I really, I really am. I'm really sorry, Mr. Seagull. <laughs> Stephen Seagull, if you will. <laughs> um, let's move on, shall we? Yes. Yes, we shall. Now, I want it to be quite kind of a light colour. Oh, should we go like, oh, that's a good fence for it. Yes, let's go for this. Let's go for this one here. Can I get this? Yeah, we'll go for this one. Stunning, 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 and stunning. We're going to put the stairs there. Um, Stairwise. I think I want some, like, plain, like, stone-looking stairs. What do you look like, darling? Are you marble? Are you marble? Oh, this could work. 
this might work okay let me have a look maybe maybe or do we want no no marble staircases with a wooden foundation it doesn't make sense maybe if we go for like a a pale woody looking one just get them there darling there we go. oh yeah that's good yeah, that one. oh oh we haven't got a matching bloody thing for that though have we Of course we haven't. It's the Sims, Aiden. What do you expect? Well, maybe I could use this one instead and then use... Oh, yeah, we'll use that fence instead. This is a good fence, but we need it to match in and, you know, Sims. So let's get this one here on instead. And I love this railing. Very Art Deco. Very nice. Very much for it. Yes, I'm for that. I really am. Now, did we get a ceiling on top here? We didn't, but we can build one. Oh, no, it's tall. Oh, it doesn't really matter being tall, actually. I think that might make a nice impact. Oh, I'm for that. Yep, we'll do that. Stunning. Right, we need a roof. We need a roof on this bad boy. I'm going to flop this one on. Right to there. We're going to pull you down. I don't know what shape I want to do this yet. I don't want to make it look necessarily Victorian-esque. So I might even round it off slightly to kind of step away from that look. Maybe go a little bit more Roman looking, if you know what I mean. Do I want flaps, flaps down or flaps out? I mean, flaps out, to be honest, you know? It's got to be done. But saying that, I do want to put a trim around it as well. And I would love to do a bit of more of an ornate trim like this bad boy here. Let me see what you would look like. Can you go there? Oh, the roof's going to cut onto it. So we can pull the roof off. We can get the flaps in. Everyone take your flaps in. And then I can use that and then put a nice trim around it instead there. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Okay. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Now we need to choose a spandrel. This is going to be difficult because the spandrel would be hidden quite a lot. Oh, no, it doesn't with these. Okay, stunning. Oh, we're going to use you then, dear. I mean, that is taking it into Victorian territory, but I kind of like that. Or maybe I could get a bit of green going on. I mean, I like that as well, but I just love the impact of this. What about you? Is that too green? Oh, it's kind of nice. Let's try you, babe. Come on. You're, you've been invited. You've been invited to join our bandstand. And I'm very much for it. Let me see that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like it in green. I think I might stick with white. But I do want to use this one. I like the ornate version of it. Now, we'll stick with the white. The white's, the white's nice. And I'll put a really nice little, like, seating moment in this bit here. I think that would be cute. Obviously, we do need to get some poles in. Poles. <sighs> Not poles, Adrian. They're called pillars, darling. Pillars. Pillars of dreams. Yep, let's get some of these pillars of dreams in. Stunning and stunning. All the way along to here. Um, Can I have this one as well, please? Thank you. Hold down you and then put you in the right places. Yeah, that's cute. What roof? Oh, no, we didn't put a roof on, did we? Oh, no, we did. <laughs> Aiden. Aiden, for goodness sake. Oh, do I want to do glass, maybe? Glass would be cute. Um, uh, It wouldn't make sense. Being, this would be somewhere you would go to escape the shade. So, I'm not for it. And if you don't want to escape shade, don't log on to Twitter, darling. Twitter is a cesspool. It really is really is i've been date debated on just deleting my twitter but i just thought oh no may as, may as well keep it may as well you might miss out on something <laughs> like announcements and things i'm always scared i'm going to miss out on an announcement of some descript um all right let's get you in here as well another third if you will oh that's not bloody straight is it well about as straight as i am that's all i can say darling Ugh. right you there yes yeah, stunning Yep, that's cute. Cute, that's cute. That is cute, that. Cute, that, that. That is. Right, I'm just going to have a slurp of my ginger tea. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, it's spicy. <laughs> Why is it spicy? <laughs> it's so spicy, but I love it. And people have been asking me where my ginger tea is from. Or the recipe. <laughs> like, I've got time to make me own ginger tea. You silly bums. It's, um... It's from Pucker. It's called Three Ginger. It's ginger, turmeric, and 
some kind of licorice. I don't know what the licorice is called, but it's some kind of licorice. Um, and it's lovely. It's lovely. It warms you up. It's good for your stomach. Um, I just love the taste of ginger. Savory and sweet ginger. And I do like a ginger as well. If you get my drift. <laughs> if you get my drift, sweetie. <laughs> right, we're going to terrain a bit around here. And then just do a little shadow underneath of this. Brickwork that we're doing here as well. Just to make it set in. We've got some there stunning. And the same with this as well. But I can just do a small one. All the way along. Just so it looks... Just for the realism. And I don't. I want to get in some leafy... Like palmy looking plants. You know? Like, you know. You know, darling. I don't need to say it. So I'm going to do that. I am indeed. Uh, just to make it fit in with the... The New Orleans vibe that we're going. New Orleans is a very like I don't know what kind of climate you would call it, but it's a hot climate. So we're gonna make that a bit apparent as well. Oh, I didn't like what I did there. That was a bit excessive. A bit excessive that. Um I just finished the rest of the Oh, I didn't fucking do that right, did I, darling? Oh, actually we need to put stone underneath there. We cannot have a stone foundation on top of earth. <laughs> it would look very weird. I don't know why I said earth like that, but we did. We did. We did indeed. I'm not feeling that bit of grass there either. So I'm going to get rid of you as well, darling. Oh, oh do you know what? Yes, yeah, stone. That's fine. That'll be fine. Lovely. So yeah, I terrain painted around the whole lot and made sure that everything is just at least got a little bit of terrain painting on. Um, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to start out the front and start doing some of those leafy boys out the front as well. Now... Oh, I didn't terrain paint that though, did I? I missed this one. Very rude. For goodness. All the way along. I know I'm. you don't need to do this, but in my eyes, I do. Because it's detail and I'm for it. Okay. And I'm, do you know what? I am going to do a little like corner moment here and here. Just like that. Oh, stunning. All the way along like that. Now let's try and copy that shape over to this side. Like that. Is that right? Yeah, fine. <laughs> It's fine. It's not the same shape, but that's um that's annoying me. So let's whiffle that around like that. Oh, 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 that's not the same either. <laughs> oh, Christ. Christ on an absolute unicycle. Oh, that's a new one. Never seen Jesus on a unicycle before. Why do, why, do, why do I say these things? Anyway, moving on. We need some. Oh, did you my chair then? Bloody hell, Ron. We need some big leafy boys. So I'm going to go and pull out loads of these numbers. I'll be right back. Okay, these are the leafy boy numbers that we're going to be working with. Um, some some of them are from Jungle Adventure. Some of them are from Snowy Escape. They're all in debug. Like, why could they have not just give these plants to us? Like, I don't understand some of the, like, thought processes. I don't. Like, that would have been lovely as a plant. To just give us in the build and buy catalogue that we can use without having to go into debug. For goodness sakes. For goodness. I had somebody like comment, I think it was, Don't, do you hate The Sims or something? Because you're always bitching about it. And I think, no, I'm, I love it that much. It needs to be bitched about because I want it to be a good game. You know, I want it to be a good game. So I think voicing your opinion on something that you love is good. It's a good thing to do. I love The Sims. I'll always play it. I'll never get bored of it. Um, Apart from the gameplay. It's a different story. But... Um, do you know what I mean? I think you have to. If you love something that much, it's important to. Is it important to voice your opinions on things? Uh, yeah. The end. The end, my loves. Oh, hello. Didn't, didn't know I invited you. But you can come to the party if you wish. <laughs> Here you are. Coming to the party. Look at the size of this. Bloody tree, that. Bloody tree. I'm going to mingle these in. Like so. I still haven't finished the train painting yet. I still want to go around the edges here with a bit more of a detail. But I just want to get a few of these little plants in the front. I think they would be smashing. And I'm going to put another one of you over there, darling. There we go. Oh, you look gorgeous. You look fab. You really do. Sorry, I'm spitting into my mic. Not for it. Um. Yep, another one of you as well. You can go there, actually. And then I'm going to put another one of you over there as well. Well, let's mingle you in. 
Um, and another one, another consonant, please, Carol. I'm gonna pop you there, sweetie. Oh, lovely. Oh! Oh, I'm for it. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. I do need some kind of low level, like, ivy or something. Just to be on the ground. Oh, in fact, maybe if I use... Oh, you're there. No, not ivy. It needs to look a little bit more tropical. A little bit more tropical. Uh, you're too green. These ones. These are from... Um... Island Living, they're in debug. I just think these would just look nice. Just at the bottom. Just in places where the earth is a little bit too earthy. <laughs> I think it would just add a nice little bit of detail at the bottom of these. And I'm for that. I really am. You did not fit in there correctly, darling. There we go. And I can see you. Don't think I can't. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. Just intermingling it all. In here. Let's see what I'm doing. Am I not working at the level I should be at? Nope. I'm right up to the top. I'm one of these. I, I, I say it all the time. But I'm one of these people that has to build all the walls up. It's like a it's like a sculpture. It's a process. It's a process. It's a sculpture. And I'm for it. Let me see this. You're a bit weird there, darling. You're a little bit weird. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. And then lightly. Again, I do this all the time. I'm just going to go onto the edges of the grass and put this one here. Just so it's got like a faded moment. Wherever the eye may take me, I shall go. And I'm for it. Right, right there as well. There we are. Yes. Oh, naturel. Oh God, my room is bloody freezing. I've put the heating on. Where is, where is the heat? It's so cold today. How cold does it stay where I am? It is mine. No, it's not. It's one degrees. One degree Celsius. Very cold and I, I can't bear it. I'm not enjoying the green on that. That green looks too weird to me. So I'm not going to do it there. Nope, not happening. Okay. And then here, maybe just a bit more grass. Um, Where's that absolute grass of dreams that I love to death? Is it in flowers? No, I don't think it, uh, it is in flowers in plants yeah this here love this grass i've always wanted this grass and as soon as they did that big debug update however long ago that was oh it's made building so much nicer so much nicer let's pop one at the front i need the tree there so i can see what i'm doing there we go yeah just around the tree line yeah i'm for it really am um, we're going to do the same up here as well with lots. In fact, you know what? We're going to stick the hedge of dreams here instead. We're going to put the hedge of dreams here. Main reasons being it's quite a tight space to be, so be, to be able to put like singular um, leafy boys in there. I think it would be quite difficult. So if I can just plop this one in here instead and take a look. Yeah, no, that's nice. I do enjoy that. Although at the end of the hedges, I might just do a little bit of grass just intermingling it. Might just do a little bit of grass, just intermingling it in places. I mean, it's not a massive bit of difference, but it's a bit of detail that makes my eyes moist. It really does. And I'm for that. Yeah, no, I do enjoy that. Oh, you you deserve a bit there as well, darling. Just a little smidge there. Oh, for it. Absolutely for it. Let me just put all these in. There we go. Do you see what I mean? Just adds a little bit of detail by those hedges, and I'm very... Very much for it. How many times are we going to say that? This part. Lots. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't even realise I was doing that there. can have that, sweetie. Cannot have that cutting in like nobody's business. If I can do it like there, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And then on these parts here, like here and here, I should make that all earth. I'm going to put some more leafy boys in there. And then what we're going to do is make a start on the balcony areas. Very much looking forward to doing that. We're going to put in some nice rocking chairs up there. Um, Yeah, we're going to be getting some detail. Speaking about the family a bit more as well. We need to speak about the family a little bit more today. Um, Okay. And then these numbers over here. So I'm going to be copying and pasting. Let me just get all... Let me get a palette. A palette of leafy boys up here so I can work with them. Um, And then we'll... 
start doing those little planter areas. I didn't put one of those forest ferns over here. How very dare I? Yo, did I put one of them up there? No, I didn't. Very rude. So let's flop one of them up there as well. And one of these. Stunning. Here we go. Right, so. Let's size you down, darling. Because you're a tree. I'm not very much for that. Uh, if I can put you there. You. Maybe make you even smaller in the front. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Somebody commented as well. I did laugh at this comment. Um, My parents don't understand English. And um, when you're speaking, it sounds very sexual. And I keep getting funny looks from them. <laughs> I, just, I just thought that was funny. I did. You'll have to apologize to your parents for me. And tell them I said, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, what are we like here? Well, you know, we're over 18 here, so it should be allowed. You know, this isn't a family friendly. This isn't a family friendly stream by any means. Oh, should have put a palette over here as well. See, that looks nice like that. I like it. Right, come here. We're going to flop you down to there as well. No, you're not going up there. Stop making a fool of yourself. Still got to do this area here as well, but I'll do that in a sec before we move on to the balcony areas. Um, okay, let's cut you into there. Stunning. It may just look like as well when I'm landscaping, like I'm just plonking it and see if it works, but I don't know. I I don't know how people's like, how can you like teach me how to landscape? And I don't know what it, I, I can't. <laughs> and that goes for a lot of things as well. I'm not a tutorial channel. I never will be. I don't do tutorials. I think build the way that you want to build, you know? Um, yeah, it's just not for me, like tutorial things. I don't know why. Can you hear Blue snorting? Snorting away like nobody's business. Uh, um, and with landscaping, I think it's just seeing it. I don't know. It just, as soon as I look at it, I think, oh, that looks good. And then I, I'll kind of leave it, you know? Like that bit there, that's poking through there. So that made me fume. I'll move it away. And it's just trying to make it look as natural as possible. Which I'm all for. Okay. Here. Can I get that grass? I can. I'm going to put some more of this grass underneath here as well. Just to frame in this area a little bit more. Let's do a little bit of a big boy there. And then a small boy right next to it. Stunning. Oh, that looks a bit uniform. See what I mean? As soon as it starts looking uniform... I change, there we go. That looks a little bit more natural now. Asymmetry with landscaping. Nothing too like, I can't bear seeing people when they, and I've said this before as well, like plonking like plants down and they're all, well, that's not going to make any sense if I do that, but plonking plants down and then they're all in the same kind of direction look just by like, I'm doing a tutorial now, just by rotating and putting them in different places to other, it just looks a little bit more natural, even though that there is still looking very uniform. There we go. Nope, that's the same. There we go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just those kind of little things. Yeah, I would say do that. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to put a big leafy boy here. I might do a big, big one, actually. Big leafy boy there. Um, I'm going to line this with stones as well, I think, but I'm going to do that off of camera because that is just annoying. We'll definitely uh, line this little area here with stones. I think it would look nice like that. I do. Anyway, let's get this back up again. My posture, for goodness sake. You. Oh, not, I, I didn't want you, but we do need you. Um, One of these here. Gorgeous. Yeah, in fact, that's a bit too big. It's a bit too big. It's dominating the space a little bit too much. and I'm not for it. Yeah, okay. Let me just finish landscaping all of this, and then we're going to move on to the balconies. Okay, so first up, I, oh, let me show you what we did with the landscaping. I just put a few more greenery bits around here. There's still work to do. I want to put some stones and stuff everywhere, do a bit more of the terrain paints and stuff. But um, yeah, the landscaping is predominantly done for this lot. Um, very nice indeed, and I'm very much for it. Anyway, so the front lot, I really want to have uh, oh, I'm wondering. Let me just try this a minute. Let me just try and get this little bit of detail up here. Oh, I'm for that. Oh, yes. 
Yes, please. And I'm going to put two more pillars there as well, actually. Let me just see that. Oh, I'm for it. Yes. I want to put a couple of rocking chairs out the front here. Oh, I can imagine Beatrix and Christopher, who somebody said looks like Jim Pickens. Very rude indeed. <laughs> um, I think rocking chair. Oh, we've got the living room rocking chair. We can't have that. It's custom content, but it's very beautiful. Armless rocking chair. Where are oh, here they are. So I'm going to put a nice couple of rocking chairs out the front here. I probably would see them being having arms on with a cush, with a cushion as well. As much as I don't like these rocking chairs, I'm going to use them for this build. I think they'd be nice. A couple of white ones out the front here. What side though? What side would they get the best view of the neighbours at? I think this side because it's got less greenery. So I'm going to put a couple of these here. Right next to each other like that. Can they see over there? Oh, yes. Yes. And the park as well. They love watching the kids play. And I reckon they throw sweets and stuff to them as well. Don't worry. They're not weird. They're not weird. Yes, I'm for it. And all the neighbours know, know them. They're just lovely people. I'm for it. I love this wholesomeness. But don't worry. We've got lots of drama coming with the next area of Windem Windenburg. With the next area of Willow Creek. Because we've finished this area now. So we're going to move on to the other areas. I can't wait. I'm very much for it. I don't like this rocking chair in white. Maybe I need to go just pure white or... Ugh. I hate the colours that they've chosen for these. They're disgusting. <laughs> I'll say that time and time again. I do not like them. Yeah, we're going to go for that one. One in the red cush. Oh, stunning. And then I'm going to do a little side table here with that little um, like iced tea thing on. I think that would definitely fit it here. Oh, yes. Maybe not in that colour, though. Oh, we're not going to get matching wood tones with that because Sims. But, oh, maybe you, actually. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, we'll put that little moment out here instead. Oh, I'm for it. Right. And then activities and skills. Misc. Where's that little jug of dreams? Love this little object. I wish we could have more things like this. Such a cute little object. Little iced tea thing there. I can see that absolutely happening. Um, and I am definitely think I want to... Oh, no, I don't want to get more greenery there because they won't be able to converse with their neighbours and whatnot. But this is cute. This is a cute little area. Uh, I'm going to do a rug here as well, actually, I think. Just a nice little beaten down rug. Um, yeah, like you. That size you down, though. Just turn you this way. And just put you at a little angle as well. Just somewhere where they can come and sit. And um, chill out of an evening. A hot summer's evening. Oh, I can't wait for the summer. I'm so desperate for the summer to get here now. I love the winter. Don't get me wrong. I love the winter. But I like the winter in like November and December. January and February. Can absolutely do one. It's freezing for goodness sake. Right, we're going to get one of these down here as well little outdoor lantern even though i'm going to do some lighting here i do want like a little bit of lighting over this way as well um so either side here let's get in two little outdoor lights let's get rid of debug and live edit for the minute because there's too many options um some nice victorian-esque looking lanterns really and um, where's that big boy there we go this one here i think i'm going to put two either side Let's hold down shift so we can copy it. And then do the same on this side here. Ooh, yes. Is that equal? I think that one's a bit too high. There we go. Yeah, nice little lanterns here and a nice little welcome mat as well. I think I'm going to do a bone-shaped one. I am. I'm going to do a bone. I'm going to do a bone-shaped welcome mat. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, with a couple of leafy plants out here as well. I think the one in question is definitely... Oh, you would work out here as well. Oh, you will. I wish that this plant came without the red trim on the end. I would have used it so much more. But we'll definitely use you somewhere. I think I'll use you next to the rocking chairs over here. Lovely. But the one in question I was on about was this boy. I think this would look great. 
Yes, Queen. I'm going to plonk you over to here. Like this. I think I'm going to do a nice little armchair over here. So maybe I'll do a couple of these. I can do a couple of these. Put one there as well. At different angle. Oh, I don't know. I don't like... Oh, I don't want to use this because I don't like it. But I think it will suit the style that we're going for here. Oh, it does. Yeah. We'll use you. And then I'm going to put a nice bench in the middle here. Oh, no. The one I want to use is actually classed as a sofa for some reason. Can you imagine having that as a sofa? Getting comfy on that. Oh, snuggled on my nice wooden sofa. <laughs> and I'm going to try and bring in that wood tone that we've used over there as well. And that's quite similar, isn't it? Well, as similar as we'll get. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And do some more potted plants just down by the side of it as well. Um, oh, ooh, you. You look very tropical. We'll plonk you next to here like that. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, you. Oh, in fact, there's a bigger version of you, isn't there? We could use that one instead. Where are you? I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it, so I'm just going to use this one instead. It's no matter. But I also use these trio of those plant group of dreams. I love that object at the minute. I'm using it everywhere. But I do like it. Okay. Maybe some flowers down here somewhere. Maybe some, like, little flower numbers. Maybe I could get rid of those and put them on top instead. I have some flowers at the bottom of the pathway i'm not sure about that colorway though maybe we go a little bit more not pale like yeah <laughs> that's the best that's the best out of a bunch and you can't really see what i'm trying to hide anyway so it doesn't really matter we'll keep them there oh yes that's cute i enjoy that i enjoy that i like that area i think that's nice enough let me just check excuse me and see what the lighting looks like at night Probably need a little lamp over here as well. So I'm going to bring in that little lamp and put it around here too. Just in behind. There we go. Ah, oh, that's cute. Yes, I'm very much for it. I am. Okay, so this is like a balcony that they share. Um, I did want him to have his own access though. So I might even do a little access point from here. Do I want to do that? Or oh, here actually. So he's got his own little, like, yes. Yes, we'll do Leighton's here. I'm just going to do a balcony moment up on this level as well. Shall I put a ceiling on that? No, I'm going to keep that open. I'm going to keep it open. And let him have his little chill-out area where he comes and smokes. I reckon he's a smoker, Leighton. I reckon he comes out and has a little cheeky, cheeky cigarette without his grandparents knowing because they would be fuming if they knew that he was a smoker. Should I do two doors like that or should I do a couple of double doors? I think I'll do a couple of double doors instead. But we'll do them in a white so it kind of blends in with the house nicely. Yes, I like that. But I'm wondering if I should do one either side of this as well. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, I'm for it. Right, okay. And I'm going to do a little pouffe out here. Um, Where's that pouffe? In that pinky, that one. Where he sits and has a cigarette. Oh, you're naughty boy, Leighton. Very naughty. But, um, I can't say anything. I'm a vapor, you know? And I used to be a smoker, but I haven't smoked for about six, seven years now. Can't believe it's been that long. If you do smoke out there, please give up. Please give up. Your life is important. It really is. And maybe I'll put a plant out here as well. Just put a little cheeky plant out. Oh, I could, shall I use the tree? Shall I use these ones? Yes. We'll use these out here too. I'm going to put them at an angle though. Like that. And I'll keep that colourway as well. That little pop of blue out there is nice. Yes, Leighton. And that's straight off of his photography studio as well, which is cool. I like that. Oh, oh, okay. Right, okay. So we've got these shared moment up here now. Um, I think what I will do is hmm family games i think they would come out here and play some cards and stuff together <gasps> for it absolutely for it so i'm going to do that game table where are you darling a little game table is that it wolf pits essential gaming table i mean yeah a little fold out one or shall i just do 
the wooden one. Can you play any card game on that though? Or is it just Wake the Llama? Oh, Blue's farted. Oh, for goodness sake, Blue. That's very smelly. Ugh. <laughs> Blue's let one rip. Rest in peace to me because my eyes are now watering. <laughs> yeah, let's do a little activity table out here. With maybe just some fold-out chairs. See them having a few fold-out chairs. Maybe in green as well. Yeah. A few little fold-out chairs where they come out in game of an evening. I reckon... Where do I want to put... I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put you there. So they've got a little bit of privacy as well. Even though they can see right into... <laughs> Whose room is that? I think I think that's Cassandra's. Oh, <gasps> Yes, that's Cassandra's streaming room. Look. So yeah, I can see right into Cassandra's streaming room. I reckon um, I reckon Leighton would love that. I really do. <laughs> okay, so they've got a little thing there. Maybe like a little sofa area and some wicker chairs and stuff. So let me go and find them. Yes, these ones here from the movie Hangout stuff. I think these would match in well with the vibe we're going for. In fact, I'm going to use these down on this level as well. We won't do this today. We'll, we'll we'll crack on with this next time. But just so I'm reminded, I'll use them down there too. Um, I don't like that layout there though. I think they need to be more like like this, more like this. So it's a bit more social, if you will. Yes, with a nice rug underneath of there as well. And I might use that new rug. Um, where are you? You're very expensive though, aren't you? Oh, not that expensive. It's 500 simoleons. Uh, and we have got half half a mil here to play around with. Can I use it in the full size? I mean, not really. It needs to be sized down with some. And I'll tilt it slightly there. Let me pull you forward a bit, my love. Lovely. We have a coffee table maybe on top of it as well. Um... Ooh, oh, you're massive though, but that that's the vibe, isn't it? That is the vibe. Oh, I do want to use you, but they're not going to be able to get through there. I'm going to size it down. I'm going to size it down. It'll be fine. Yeah, little coffee number. Oh, they're still not going to be able to get through there though. Um, Let me rejig this layout. Yeah, like that. So they can still get through either side. And, they sh and I've left the table at the normal size as well. They should be able to get in there quite easily. Quite easily. Still want to do some more details up here, but I think I'll leave that for today because what I really want to do, what's going to pull this build together for the last time today is put some spandrels on. Um, corbel, sorry. Um, and I'm thinking about using the green ones, but sizing them up. Let me see if I can do that without it looking. No, they don't look good sized up, but I will use these ones. Just to get into more detail around. Can I like just... No, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. I do want to use them. I'm going to use them like underneath. Rather than... Have I got my quartile placement on? I have. Right, you need to go in the middle there, darling. And the same here as well. Oh, there you go. Oh, stunning. Yes, I'm going to do some around there though. Like so. And like so. So, am I? No, I'm not. I know what I'm going to do. Do what we did downstairs. Put that there instead. With a couple of these next to each other. Lovely. Can we get that detail back, please? Thank you very much. Did that detail disappear down there as well? On that one, it did. Do you mean? Oh, I bet someone noticed that. Bet you any money. Bet you any money they did. But um, So, this build is definitely going to go into next week. I'm going to do a bit off of camera for sure. But, um, yeah, it's definitely going to go into next week as well. So I'll try and finish it off next week so we can move on to the new area of Willow Creek, which I'm very excited about doing. We've got some, I've got some plans with that area, my darling. I might start with the iconic pancakes, um, for sure. So I might start with them, the first build. But I'm going to give them makeovers, especially Eliza. Oof, Christ. Especially Eliza. And we're definitely going to make Eliza like a bit of a, a bit of a twat, really. Because <laughs> everybody likes to think of Eliza like that. So I think it would be good to bring her into the storyline. And she is definitely a part of the kind of the housewife group that we've got building on. 
Um, I wouldn't say Beatrix is. I wouldn't say Beatrix is part of the, the housewife group. Um, but she's definitely a bit more of like a, 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 a grandmother figure for them. They come, they go to her for advice and she was close with Bella, but she's not part of their kind of like group as such. But yeah, Lies is definitely part of them, but I reckon they all secretly bitch about her behind her back. <laughs> it's what Eliza deserves, to be honest, you know, for being an insufferable insufferable know-it-all i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> what's that line from is it harry potter i think it is i think it's from harry potter right these might not be perfect but this house is old you know it moves it moves it flails in the wind it flails in that new orleans wind is there an, i was just about to say the wind in new orleans oh i don't know <laughs> Oh, Aiden, indeed. But yeah. Yeah, that's put a little bit more detail in with those corbels. I know you can't really see them. But I'm kind of for it. Kind of for it, indeed. Okay, I think we're done. I think we've got done the exterior as best as we can for the minute. I've still got to put more details on the here. We're going to do... We're going to put a bit more greenery up here, I think. Um, a bit more seating and whatnot. And I want to do these balconies over the sides and stuff as well. And the same here. But we'll be back next week and I'll make sure to have all the wallpapers and stuff on the interior as well because we are going to go into the interiors next week. So, yes. There we are, my darlings. All done with the third part of the McCarthy New Orleans mansion. Um, As I said, tomorrow, speed build coming out. Very, very excited for it. And also the Little Nightmares 2 stream on Twitch at 7pm GMT. If you want to come along, you can. But yes, I will see all of you gorgeous buggers tomorrow for the speed build that I've got coming. Goodbye.